We're doing French today. We're starting our journey of French. Who you think taught you to smoke trees? You're trying to build a wall. Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. It's too dry. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Cause look how many freaking pearls I'm doing, bro. <laughs> wow, you have to really press in. And the reason why you have to have your corners up like this. So where's your pad, bro? Get the pad. Get the pad, bro. Let's get the pad. Get the pad, bro. It's hard. That was freaking hard as shit. <laughs> trying to get, uh, I gotta have him show me because I'm trying to get a pearl big enough and wet enough and I can't. And I don't know, look at this, I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong. It's like kind of driving me crazy. I tried putting it on here and it's like stiff. It's too dry. So um, I'm trying to move the liquid from, from the, like I'm trying, when I pick up the pearl, I'm trying to hit right here on the dampen dish so I can move some liquid to the front but it's still not working. I'm still not able to get a big enough pearl like Greg does. So this is a little frustrating, I have to say. I'm gonna keep, I, get, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I, I, I was able to do it before and I'm able to get a consistent pearl, but it's just not freaking big enough. So let when he gets, he's on the phone right now, when he gets back, first thing I wanna understand is like, how do I get that consistency when I'm gonna do a French nail how am I gonna get the right consistency? Even though we've already done a video on this, like to do a French overlay, I gotta get that right consistency to be able to have the product flow down and then create that smile line, right? That, that reverse application, um, building the body, so. Okay, um, so I'm a little frustrated because <laughs> I literally am trying to get I don't understand bro I can't I can't get enough liquid on the brush to pick up a large enough pearl this is probably the best one that I this one right here okay that I did that's a good one but what I had to do was like let me let me just show me so I'm 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 I'm, I'm putting it in and literally I have to like that and then, and then only then am I able to get some, but look, it's still, it's not big enough. The, I can, t I'll tell you why. The reason why is because you're doing, you're doing this. You're barely touching the surface. So can I show you? Yeah. So you'll notice Wait, when, hold on. Move it over here. Yeah. so you'll notice when I submerse my brush, right? I'm actually pulling down really <laughs> deep. So you'll notice how you're going uh, way look, 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 look. So I just that that fell in the the amount. So oh. you'll notice you'll notice that I'm actually pressing. Oh my God. I'm pressing in really firm. So you're doing this. You're you're just you're just doing this on the surface. Right, and right, if right. you do this on the surface, that no that's matter what, that's what's happening. You're getting these really really tiny let pearls. Try it. Let me try again. real fast. I just want to show you one more time. So again, if I compress down you see the you yeah. see i want you to see the level of compression yeah, 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 it's yeah. i'm going down so that it's it opens it up quite okay quite deep oh yeah there you go there you go <laughs> god finally Wow, you have to really press in, bro. And I, you know, I understand. I mean, again, we did this a few times last week, but if you're not doing every single, there you go. Look at the difference. Oh my God. Boom. Oh my God, bro. Good job, man. That's it. I mean, I could spot it right away just from watching you work. It's the funny thing is, is for all of you guys out there, you know, it's when you have an instructor who can identify the mistakes that you make, 
yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's a matter of just watching and seeing, and then you can see. Most of you guys are not able to get a big pearl. It's probably you're not pressing hard enough into the surface. No, you're, powder. you're definitely not pressing hard enough. I know that, because look how many freaking pearls I'm doing, bro. And, you can hear and, my mom laughing. <laughs> I literally pumped out like, Fif I don't know how many freaking pearls. Beads. A lot of beads. I could not get it. The problem is the same problem I've been having since the freaking beginning, not pressing hard enough. The problem that a lot of people make is even with a lot of liquid, if you just barely touch the surface. It's not, it doesn't work So bro. you see how small that divot, you yeah. see that little divot? Watch this, I'm gonna do it right next to it with the right pressure. So if I come in right next to it with a lot of pressure, you can see the divot is double the size. Literally, look at that size divot compared to that. I literally press down firm, and, and, and then I continue to press down firm, so what ends up happening is you're able to grab a larger amount of powder. powder yeah. So if you just kind of, if you, again, for all of you guys out there that just kind of graze the surface and keep it on the surface and do this really light bounce. That's what I was doing. That You're gonna end up with a really small pearl. Yeah. And and. Sometimes, if you have too much liquid on your brush, it'll fall back inside. That's what happened to me again, again. when I was practicing. Yeah, so what you want to be able to do is compress firm, and what you're able to do is get a really large bead. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a bead, since he got his consistency down, yeah. apply a pearl and get the pearl to run down. And what we're going to do, bro, is we're going to set a marking, so you'll notice that on Go ahead and do me a favor, snap this in. Okay. Let me get my towel bro nice because I don't like how you fold them. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and get into get it into yeah. shot. Okay. The Go key for. to doing successful reverse application is getting the pearl to run from here to here. Okay? We're not gonna go all the way to the front end. Okay. We're gonna get it to run from this point. To this point, so okay. I want you. You see this here? Yeah. That that is where you want your smile line to be. To be. So, so there's I want your, about that much room. You, there's your guide right there. Okay. You see the edge right here of where the plastic meets the rubber? Yeah. That's where the corners of your smile line are going to start. The rubber meets the road. Where the rubber meets the road, <laughs> and you just want that teardrop okay. to go a little bit past it. Okay. So when you're Basically getting the product to run down from this point to this point this like once it gets down to here Then that's when you have to use your brush to stop it. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so I want to see what you're going to do Okay, and then I can kind of gauge what he's doing Inconsistently all right, let's see here because right now we're just focusing on consistency again. It's it's funny because when we're doing overlays, it's learning consistency. Learning consistency when you do reverse application. Great, go ahead and set it down. I love that you're going right into it because there's still liquid in your brush. You see how everything melts right away? Yeah. Keep the finger pointed down. There you go. Get all the way around. Keep going all the way, all the way. Yes, there you Here. go. Here. Okay, good. Now, now what? tuck, the, tuck the corners. Here? Yeah, but you need to keep your brush flat at this point. So you need to be, bring, bring the finger up. You need to be here, see that? Oh. And you need to be here, see that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. So you see I'm tucking it back? Yeah. Look at that. Okay. And the other side as well. Yes. Good. So you, you so, have, so you see how your angle of your, your brush is at this angle here. Your brush needs to be flat. Yeah, like right here, like that, yes. right? Right. And the other side as well. And, and right here too, yes. flat inside, right? Tuck it back, tuck it back, but you need to see from the top while you're doing that, bro. Good. And then do I need to flatten it? Take a look from the top. No, from the top, Eric, yes. You see how nice that is? Yeah. Okay, so look, you have bird's eye view from the top. Yep. Okay, so do you see how that let, you want more of a V shape, right? Yeah. So you want to be able to push that corner in and right there. Right here? Yeah, I do see it. Good. 
Yeah, man. That is really good. And that, from here? Yeah. Yeah. Notice that I have you turn your brush in that position. Yeah, it, I don't it feels have good. you come in here because yeah. coming in here is awkward. You need to be just like that. Good. Now, if you lightly press from the surface. Right here? Yeah. Just flatten it out. You're going to get that nice ledge. Uh, you want to shelf because you're trying to build a wall. Right. Right. But the wall is not going. So. Where's your pad, bro? Let me get the pad. Get the pad, bro. Let's get the pad. Get the pad, bro. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw two fingers here, right? Right here. So okay. when Habib built out his first body, he built it out. And then I noticed that it was like kind of rounded here when he built it out. So what I wanted him to do, this area right inside here, it has to be like, it has to be like this. See that? So in order to get it like this, you have to press it from the surface and then it'll force the acrylic out, right? Right. But the only way to get it to this level where the ledge is, either straight or a little bit tilted forward, right? You, you have to press it. So as the product as the product runs down, you have your you have your natural nail right here. Sorry for the bad character character shirt. I can't even say okay. <laughs> but as the product runs down and you get it to a semi-decent smile line, right? This whole edge here is going to be rounded because what you're, the product is running, right? It's not going to go into a ledge like this right? Or, or like this. It's going to be rounded at the edge, right? It's going to be rounded at this area right here. Right. To get it like this or this, you have to press from the top to flatten out. And you're not flattening out this area. You've got to keep this area out. The area that you're going to be flattening is this area here. In the front. In the front where the right. smile line. So from here all the way around. And not much. It's a very light pressure. You did it on that nail. you got to compress it right. so that the side, that smile line, right? That smile line, think about it. As it comes out, you have to get it like that. So if I'm looking at the nail, there is a, it comes out. Yes. And you have a shelf, right. a it, sharp shelf. It comes out and then it just drops down right there. Yeah, but do you notice that your drop is almost, you, do you see that like that ledge that you have here? The ledge kind of points out. Right. I mean, right. it's gonna have a little bit of roundness around the edge. Yeah, of course, slightly. But, but your shelf is flat. So if you turned it and pointed it up, Hold on. So Let one of the things out. that I really like about the nail that you've done is that the thickness that you have, if I place the brush on top, right, like from the edge, from that corner, right, from that corner yeah. to that corner, there's not, it's pretty flat. Do you right, see the ledge? Right, right. The thickness that you have from this point right here all the way to this corner is, the same. is pretty much the same. Right. And the reason why you have to have your corners up like this is when you tuck your white into the corner and you file it, you don't get shadows. A, a shadow is when you file it and you can see through it. It's a sheer opening. And we don't want that when Habib does his white. We want him to be able to file his corners and when his corners are thin, it stays opaque, it stays right. bright. Right. That's exactly. what you want. In order to accomplish that, you have to have a thick wall from corner to corner. So. Um, should we work with these two then? Can I do one? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, do yeah, one yeah. Here so you can watch me do it. Absolutely. When I get myself a, a really nice pearl, what I'm going to do, am I on? Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to set it down and then I'm just going to work around and then work around. And then you notice that I can literally guide it into place with the tip of my brush. So at this point here, I, I really have it dialed in. So you can notice the front is a little bit, so watch. If I, do you see how I'm pushing it back? Yeah, you're barely doing Barely, that. barely touching, but I'm using the very front of my brush to tuck it back. I'm not sliding my brush. Here from the side, I wanna show you something. You see the wedge, that little wedge? Yeah. So watch, I could take that wedge and just lightly 
tuck it back. Do you see that? Yep. Okay, so notice, I don't go to this side. I continue to go on the same side of my brush. It makes it easier right, to right. follow the edge. When you switch over, you're using the inside of your palm to press. I'm using the same pressure, see that? Yep. The same yep. pressure all the way right, right, around. Right. And what it'll allow me to do is build out, look, now take a look at my smile, same exact thing. And I was able to do it a lot thinner, which is great what you want for an overlay. But that's exactly what I was able to do, again, with the least amount of pressure. But notice, I kind of go between zone one and two all the way around so that I'm able to accomplish that. So between mine and Habib's, but Habib's is great. The reason why I want him to get to this point right here, especially with an overlay, is so that he doesn't have to do that much filing. Right. And that you will get there. So mine, Habib's, but again, very sharp. Um, and, and, and again, for again for a couple, your first two legitimate ones, it's impressive. Okay, so right. white's a little bit different. Okay, speed white powder, baby. <laughs> so remember, you're going to be working with the surface that's much smaller. So when you pick up a pearl, you don't need as much. So how, as far as like... Think of it as, because you're doing an overlay, right. just like you're doing it on a tip. Right. When you set it down, it's going to be wet. Yep. Okay, so what you Don't have, I have to drain it? I don't want you to drain it. Okay. I want you to slide it off the brush okay. and it'll start to run. Tap it to the corners as fast as you can. Okay. Then wipe your brush. Uh, okay. Okay. Then you can kind of get it into place and let it self level. Okay. And as it starts to dry, you're going to use your brush to basically get it even. Okay. So you only and how big of a pearl? You're gonna need something probably the about same? half no uh, half the size okay. as you've been picking up. Alright, so then, okay, oops, okay, again, so you have to remember, it's pressure, just leave it. Seriously, I'm gonna like, where is it? <laughs> it's just, it's how okay. many times do I have to understand that? Okay, you have a lot of liquid, you can go with, high, yeah, you can press, because you're gonna go half the pearl. Okay. Press, good, turn your brush over, yep, scrape it off the free edge. Right here? Yep, scrape it off, yep. Okay, now quickly Oops, sorry. Oh, quickly push with the tip of your brush all the way to the corner, all the way, keep, keep going, all the way. Just with the very, very tip, you're starting to use the body. Yeah, all the way to the corner, All keep going all the way up. Good, the other side. It's already with staying. the tip? Yep, I want you to push it all the way up to the corner with the tip. Good, wipe your brush. Now use the body to start making it even. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah. Okay, stop right there. You see that corner? Wet, yeah. Clean your brush, wedge it, and push, no, not the body, you look at, you see that small little amount right there? Yeah. You need to use the very, very, you're in? You need to use the very tip of your brush to literally poke that little amount up. You see that? There, okay. Just like that. Okay. Can I show you mine? Yeah. And, and then you, once you see how I do it, then you can replicate it on the second yeah, one. Yeah, 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 that's good, okay. First of all, I don't have a lot of space, right? So when I take my, when I get my pearl, I get a smaller pearl, right? and watch this, I'm gonna scrape it off, and then what I'm gonna do, look, look how I'm like literally, see oh, this? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, literally yeah, yeah. juggling it up into the corner, oh, done. Wow. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same, while it's wet, I'm just going to literally tickle it up into the corner with the tip of my brush, See how it fills it in? Yeah. Okay, now, look at this. You see how it's kind of running off? You see my wedge? I can take a wedge of my brush. Look how I'm gonna get underneath. See that? Yeah. yeah I literally yeah, got yeah. underneath it to lift it out. I gotcha. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice is that the product is a little bit runny to the side. It's not a problem. I you, See now, when I actually start to press it, you see that? Yeah the acrylic starts to get a consistency that will allow me to get it even. And it doesn't matter if I have a little bit right here, once it files out, it's going to be perfect. But the, again, when you're doing an overlay, 
the, the biggest problem that a lot of nail technicians make when they're doing white, the problem they make is it gets underneath here, it, it seeps underneath the free edge. The acrylic? The acrylic will seep underneath because they pick up way too much product. Done. So just remember when we file this, the, the amount of pressure you're gonna be filing is right here. You're not gonna take it over the edge. The tip is gonna be perfect. That's what I need it to be. You can imagine when you're working on such a small surface, right? When you're working on such a small surface, you want to use the body of your brush. Okay. The problem is that since you're working on such a small surface, if you use the body of the brush to press it, what ends up happening is you push it underneath yeah. the tip. I got you. It's going to squish it. So when I, when, I, when I wipe my brush off the edge, it leaves the product there yeah. and wet. So allow me to use the tip of the brush to kind of juggle it. The consistency that you have to work with, and the reason why I'm not really kind of crushing you with the small pearls, <laughs> Yeah. Is because I'd rather have you go from small to large. large. If you go too big. Yeah, forget it. Oh, dude, you're going to get super frustrated. Yeah, because it's going to get all, all over the place. place, underneath the tip, everywhere. Yeah. Get a big one. There we go. Yes. And now the very tip, the very, done. Oof, bro, monster move. <laughs> Good. There? Yeah, wipe a brush. Okay, now it's just a matter of keeping it in, in form. So what do I do now? <laughs> just have to balance it so that it doesn't run underneath the tip. Just lightly touch. Good, it's still, Ooh, it's wet. still wet. Don't touch Holy it, don't, don't, don't touch it. Okay. Just let it sit. Okay. Clean up your edges right here yeah. with the wedge of your brush. Get it tight. Yep, good. The other side there. as well. Yeah. Clean it up with the wedge. With the wedge, sorry. You're gonna make a wedge. Good. Okay, now you can start touching the surface and you're gonna notice the difference. You feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, the crazy thing is you're actually able to build the tip. You're actually able to overlay the tip, I'm sorry, in the least amount of effort. Do yeah. you notice that? Yeah. Like because you, it, it was covered and you're like thinking, what do I have to do? Yeah. You don't have to do anything. You just have to let it sit until the point, it gets to a point where it's untouchable to it's moldable. Right, right, untouchable, exactly. Untouchable meaning it's too wet, it's gonna to stick to the brush, which you right. guys were witnessing when he was doing there. Right. But that's the point you want for you to get it to the corners in the least amount of effort. Yeah. You could treat it like gel so that it gets to that point, allow it to run into place, yeah. and then once you have the whole surface area covered, all you need is a few more seconds before you could actually start molding right. it into perfect place. Right. That's friggin' great. Well, it's nice because it's like, okay, you use the tip, push, 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 get in the corners, and then it's like I can, I can then uh, clean up the sides, and that buys me time, and then it's like it, it wait a little bit longer, and then it's just barely touching, just to even it out around the the free edge, and it seems like it's it's good to go. It's great. I, I can't wait to see what that looks like when you file it into shape. So just filing now. Yeah. Just let it dry. Yeah, let it dry. All right. Coffee break. Coffee break. The bill. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so get your sides even. You don't have that much, right? I mean, it's pretty even. You have to do minimal filing on your it's sides. It's pretty even. Yeah, you just have to do some detail work, right? Just to make sure you've got a nice file line so it's straight. Literally done, right? It looks pretty even, huh? Yeah, it Same does. thing on that side right there. Doesn't need a lot of work. Just have to just tune it up. Just a hair, right? Good. In the front. Kind of comes in a little. Okay. Well, we can again. You're on the tip, right? Where does it come in? It looks like it curves in. It does at the tip because you don't have enough product here on the yeah. side. Okay. So taper the nail. You're gonna file the front. Okay. You're holding the knuckle oh. way back. Yeah. You have to hold That's the right. finger and put pressure and keep filing until that goes away. It's starting to go away. What? That unevenness at the front because you're uh, filing it back. It's look at it. It's like curved. So I want you to taper the nail. Taper it. You Why? see how you're holding it right there? Because yeah. it's already tapered. Just taper it. There you go. It'll give it a rounded edge, and you'll actually have that go away. How's the look? Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Okay. And then now. 
yeah. which you don't have that much work to yeah. do. A little bit, you can just barely touch it, right? Because you already have straight sidewalls, right? Yeah, it is. It's really not nothing. The other side as well. You bear. Well, you don't very, have it. Very minimal. Nothing creeped underneath, right? No. No. Unless that that top section right there, you can get. The, you can try to get the hand file underneath that. Good. That's it. You don't have anything, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. Over grip position. So where's your focus going to be? You don't really like. It's really going to be like this cuticle area is perfect, right? It's going to be from here to there, right? Right. Through the middle. Oops. Uh, I don't. I just don't know what the hell I'm filing. So like, use the bulk you, right check, here. Check, yes. So you see how you have a nice arch, yeah. and then you have a straight drop yeah, off right here. You have to even that you out. You have to even it out in the middle. Pressure. Yeah, pressure. Good. Good. That bulk in the middle. Yeah. Just the middle, right? You don't really need that much filing back there. Where are you gonna need it? You're gonna need it right, right through there. The, that middle area, right? Yeah. So, so now I see there, there's there's bulk on either side. Don't worry about the sides. You're gonna be able to get that even. Is your arch even? It looks like it is. Can I see? Yeah. So it goes up, you still have a huge, you see how it humps yeah. up at the middle? Yeah. You have to take that hump, that, not that back, just the middle. Good, there you go. You see that? Yeah. Now that hump is taken down. Okay, now look down the barrel of the nail. Do you see how much thicker yeah. the sides yeah, are? I do. Okay, so I don't want you to pull it to the front. I want you to literally file from here to pass the smile line. Okay. That looks amazing, bro. Yeah, don't come off the tip. Try to file that back in. Zone three. Yes. Oof. Look at that smile. Show everybody your smile. Looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. <laughs> that is the start to learning how to do beautiful French sculptured nails. Right. You right. have to learn how to do an overlay. And so now the rest is hand filing. The rest is hand filing. The rest is hand filing. You see, the, right, you look yeah, at the top. I see it. I see there's bulk right there. But you can see from the top. Look right here from the top. Do you see how the smile oh, line switches yeah, up? Yeah, you need yeah. to clean that up from the surface. So how do I get? Just from the surface right there. So rest your hand file here. Huh. Start here in the cuticle and then follow the cuticle down. See that? So you're doing this. You're coming down like this, I want you to follow the shape as you come down. But not, uh, not rotate, but yeah, you feel that? Good. Look, see how it's disappearing, all, yeah. that, all that bulk? Good, good. Here. Good. St like, think of it as you're starting here and coming down. down. Good, good. You see that little edge? Yeah, I do. Get the file, up, push the file into the corner. Yeah, right here, right? Yeah, and to detail it, perfect. Look at that, man, good job, dude. The other side as well. It's easier because you can, you, you can you see how it's flowing down the side? Yeah. So I want you to try to get that picking motion on the opposite side. Yeah. This is a very natural feel. It is how you're coming down the side. Right. Now it's a matter of just doing surface filing over this, the whole entire surface of the nail. Good, good. Okay, now I want you to take a look at the client profile. Yeah. Look how good that looks, bro. 
Yeah, it looks pretty even. There's still a little I can see. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Fix that up. And then just wipe it and put a top coat and send it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's says Yeah, that looks pretty good. Shit. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Let me see. Final nail. Your French. Your French, French overlay. It's very good. It's hard. That was freaking hard as shit. <laughs> I'm learning as I'm going through this, but um, it's all connected. We're all connected, man. Yeah, man, we're part of this thing called life, man. <laughs>